What's up? Alex Warner playing Lockstone. I am. I don't know. Anton Cousin. And he's playing some sort of uh, Queen's Indian reversed. Which I go for c5 actually. And um, I want to go uh, knight e7 very quickly just to exchange those bishops. Although we can go knight e5 here, which is annoying. And it's kind of a question how we're going to deal with this actually. So yeah, like I said, this is a Queen's Indian reversed, in which, uh, well, this is a very normal setup with black. I think this move is quite fine. I'm not sure though. Okay. That's not such an issue, we can maybe take here. If he takes on f6, then we can take with the queen, and we're attacking his rook. So I think we're winning a pawn here. Knight c3, okay. Let's take the next one. Yeah. A little check here. We might be able to play this actually. Yeah. So where's the rook going? If he goes to f3, we have uh, takes on bishop e2 or something? No, maybe not. I don't know. No, we don't. Because if we take on c3, you can take with uh, the rook here, or with the bishop uh, actually. It's a threatening mate. So we need to do something with our knight here. But he can take d2 now. Shame. I think we were doing quite fine, but maybe there was something, I don't know. We'll probably see after the game. Yeah, it's, let's just uh, make some normal moves. Not lose on time this, uh, this game. We need to watch out for something like knight b5. Uh, bishop b7 seems like a nice move to play, so... Well, this just drops something now. Queen e1, but then we can take on d2. And I think this is even resignable, maybe. Because we're just attacking his queen and also attacking the rook. So I'm sorry for a few uh, short videos in a row. I think this will be a very short video. <laughs> he asked for an abort, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah. Sometimes they work out this way. Um, but yeah, uh, it might be worth pointing out that this is somewhat like this variation, but in reverse. Because uh, it kind of feels like it. So in this variation, you go like 94. Um, well, you castle knight c3, then 94. If queen c2, you can go f uh, takes an f5 here. And, uh, well, this structure is somewhat similar to what we had in the game, but with the reversed colors. So this f f4 is the f5, and then this knight is dropping to e5. Uh, e yeah, e5, and which was in the, in the, the other variation was e4. So it's somewhat similar, but why there's an extra move? And, uh... Yeah, it is quite annoying. I usually just try and ex exchange these two bishops. Well, these two. This is probably n nicer to point out this way. Um, so, uh, this knight has to move, but if we go to e4, uh, d3 is always an issue. So yeah, if he gets uh, enough time he can maybe go like queen h4, knight g5, or knight g5, and just be very annoying. Bishop d3 in the mix as well. Like for instance, this is already pretty annoying. If h6 and something like this, and in a practical game this is pretty hard to deal with. It seems we have knight e4 winning just totally, but yeah. Stuff like that, I mean not the exact moves, but yeah, ideas like that. So I just, in a blitz game, I just try to uh, 
exchange pieces here. MP is somewhat fine. C4 is a nice move actually. The engine comes up with it. So it kind of undermines my center. I think we can go bishop f6 still. Yeah, that's c3 is pretty annoying. Because we don't really want to take on c4, because then this pawn on c5 is somewhat weak, and also we lose control over the center. And if we go d4, which is, I guess, the principled move, knight d4 is pretty, pretty sucky. We don't want to go bishop b7, but we also don't want to lose the bishop, so it's pretty annoying. d3 is maybe a nice move, yeah. But probably just take some bishop d1. And he's got the bishop pair in the center, and uh, he's just doing pretty good. So yeah, c4 is a, definitely a good move. Instead he went uh, queen g3. Which I don't mind. The engine likes d4 here, which I totally hate. You don't want to be uh, blocking your own bishop here. If there's no way of uh, the bishop getting out. I mean, I understand that he wants to uh, put a knight on e5. But the bishop on b2 was such a trump, and now it's not. So, yeah. Even knight c5 here is a very pretty move. We're just going, going towards uh, e4. Yeah, I don't like this at all for uh, for white. So I think this knight e5 is somewhat principled as well. Uh, if we were to take here, he's just going to take back with the f pawn, and that's what he wants. This is, well, maybe not uh, lost, but it's definitely worse for us. Definitely worse than the minus point, uh, <laughs> point one. Actually, in our favor, the engine says, but this isn't. This isn't pleasant at all. Because white has, uh, has some easy moves there. The bishop needs to move and then either d3 or d4. Probably d4 actually. Uh, just a knight to d2, bishop d to d3 and just putting the rooks on the open foul. And there are just not easy ways to defend this with black. So yeah, we don't want to take here. Well, at least I don't. I mean, I might be wrong, but... If the engine says it's possible, it might be just fine. I don't know. This d4 is probably not the best. Because now we're just destroying our pawns, pawn structure. There are some tricks here though. For instance, if e4, we can maybe go e3, uh, d3 here. Maybe not actually. Because of e5. Uh, there's an e5 somewhere. Like here, probably. Yeah. Mm, so e4 is definitely a valid move. If we have to go e5, it's pretty horrible, I guess. This long term is pretty pretty hard to deal with. Well, bishop g5 here is still possible. Now we can go to f5, uh, f4. And if that wasn't possible, then d3, bishop c1, or and white can just easily build slowly but steadily. Even this is just strategically probably not good for black. This bishop is doing nothing at the moment. And white does have a long term plan of just attacking the king side. Also, this square is amazing for a knight. You can just go there. I don't know. All in all, I don't really like this position for black. We have bishop a6 here, it seems. So if rook d1, yeah, this is somewhat similar in the game, but now we have the extra option of going rook d8 instead of c8 or b uh, b8. I mean, when he takes on c6, so that makes sense. And now we could just take another pawn. So this knight c3 was bad. Let me just check what he should have done. Yeah, trading these bishops is definitely good for him. Um, now this knight can jump to e4, where it's just super active. And there are still some tricks. Bishop takes e6, knight to e4, and then f5 is sometimes in the air. It's definitely uh, better for white to exchange bishops here.
Yep, bishop a6, still fine. Knight b6 here. Oh, he's jumping towards c4, I guess. That could be pretty nasty. So now if he takes here, we have knight c4. And if he takes, we can just take on b2, and this is pretty horrible. We're threatening to take on c3 here, actually. Like, if he goes bishop b5, we can just take here. And this is mate. So that's pretty nice. So, something like h3. Then we're just gonna take another pawn, and we have the bishop pair, which are pretty brilliantly placed. And, uh, yeah, we're doing more than okay here. So, knight b6 is actually a very pretty move. I went knight f6. But that doesn't change anything about the fact that he can just take on d2 now. We're still doing very good here though. Uh, our pieces are much better than his. Nicer placed and... Uh, yeah, we have some threats. This rook is very awkward and our bishops are just much more active. So we have... Uh, well, we don't have more space, but we have definitely have more activity. So we're doing pretty good here. And this is just a very bad move. I mean, 94, he just missed 94, which just wins immediately. Um, I think he maybe missed that I'm attacking his queen, I don't know. Uh, this is just totally done. Uh, we've just gained uh, a full 5 points, I guess. Peace and rook against the piece, so yeah, that's very good for us. And uh, yeah, actually a pretty easy win here. So he resigned here, after first uh, asking for an abort. <laughs> so yeah, pretty nice game. Um, if you guys have some comments, or if you uh, want me to play anything, just let me know, hit me up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.